Alright everybody, it's Austin here from Dream and Rotary. What I'm going to go over today is a low oil pressure problem when the oil is hot in this Renesis rotary motor in my RX-8 here. I just did the rebuild in it um, 250 miles ago. I had it on for about 50 miles. I ran it um, with my wife. We went out for Valentine's Day. It was the first time I drove an RX-8 and the first time I drove this rebuilt motor. Um, I had noticed that when I was cranking it, the oil pressure upon right after rebuild was low. It wasn't dangerous low, but it was low enough to cause concern. It was only getting about the single digits when I was cranking it. I had the plugs in and I had the fuel pump out so it wouldn't flood. So I cranked it a couple times to build oil pressure. When I started it, the oil pressure was good. It was about 50 PSI or so at um, about 2000 RPMs and then it slowly dropped as the car got warmer. Uh, I started to notice once it got to about 150, 160 degree oil temp, the pressure dropped dangerously low at idle towards the single digits and it would read zero at idle when the oil temp was above 150. Um, I've never seen this problem before. I've talked to uh, two or three different guys that I know that are very good at these motors and they say it's kind of a weird issue as well so I'm gonna look into it. Uh, of course, this could always come down to a bad sender or a bad gauge or something like that, but um, I'll explain a little bit further that we drove it for 50 miles the first day. I went and got fresh gas in it, filled it all the way up, um, and then I drove it two days to work and back, and then drove it a little bit more. I probably got about, uh, I got about another 200 miles on it since that other 50 miles. So 250 miles into the rebuilt motor, um, with some heat cycling when it was in the garage just to heat it up, cool it down, try to wear in the rotary motor a little bit. Um, now when I start it at cold oil temp, it'll be between 65 and 75 PSI oil pressure, running 10W30 weight Valvoline conventional oil just for the break-in oil. Um, it'll be about 65 to 70 PSI at cold, at cold rev, and then at idle it'll be above 20 between 22 to 30 is normally what I'm seeing at idle above at cold temp my oil pressure gauge or my oil temp gauge in this only goes down to 100 degrees so above 100 degrees when it starts reading and it'll take um, about a minute to get above 100 degree oil temp and these are both read at the oil filter on what would be the driver's side portion of the oil filter itself and so my question now is whether or not the it is actually dropping oil pressure because once the oil pressure get or the oil temp gets above about 130, 140, gets towards that 150 range, the oil pressure starts to drop at all levels of rev and idle, no matter what, it always drops. So I'm going to try to record that for you guys here so you can see what my gauge and my sender are telling me. I'm going to try to record that at the same time as reading the uh, temp. Um, I'm probably just going to do the oil pressure and oil temp gauges, just take a video of that, and you'll be able to see it. Um, what I'm going to do is try to go and diagnose what the problem is and fix it, because I don't feel safe driving a rotary car that has low oil pressure at idle. Whether or not it does uh, actually have low oil pressure or not, I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm probably going to have to get a different mechanical gauge to test this. Um, I'm going to put the mechanical gauge, or even just another electric oil, oil pressure gauge at a different spot in the oil filter pedestal sandwich adapter housing, the little thing you get that goes between your filter and your actual stand. Um, I'm probably going to try to put it or rotate the base of it in a different direction to see if that changes it as well before I start tearing stuff apart because I really don't want to drop the uh, the oil pan on these are fine to drop. Uh, we just drop the plug drain the oil drop the pan. The front cover on this would take me days, most likely, to get apart while trying to work full time. It's it's would take a very long time. So what I'm going to do here is start it up, show you guys what it looks like at cold, and then as it warms up, you'll see it just drop and drop and drop. Um, and then I'm going to try to go through and do some of this statistical testing here and figure out whether it's a check valve in the oil filter that's opening when it gets warm and then it's dropping to zero at idle when it's warm. You know, I, I have no idea. So we're going to check a couple different things here. Hopefully I help somebody out in case you're getting low oil pressure on a rebuild. Um, the only thing I'd mention for a rebuild motor, if you're rebuilding it yourself, make sure to prime the pump before you crank the motor. 
Um, well, the best way I found to do it was to take the oil filter off and then dump oil down the, not the center hole, but the outside of the oil filter because the pressure from the oil pump goes up through the outside of the oil filter, comes back down through that center hole and that center hole drains down in. Uh, you can look up oil filter diagrams, it'll show you that. Um, so just make sure that when you're cranking it that you're getting good oil pressure. I did that um, afterwards to check that my oil pump was working correctly. And when I crank the motor with cold oil in it, with the plugs out, with the fuel pump fuse out so it's not getting fuel, I get 22 PSI every single time. 22 PSI cranking every single time. So I know that my oil pump is consistent and that's just a cranking. So it should be higher than that normal. So maybe I'm freaking out about nothing, but maybe there's actually a problem. So we're going to go through, check all the stuff out, and uh, hopefully I don't have to tear the front cover off because that will put me down another week um, of driving this thing. And I really do want to start getting it out as long as the weather holds up here in Minnesota. Alright, so here we are in the car. I've got the key off bone cold motor 10W30 oil weight. Car is going to be in neutral, e-brake on. I'm going to start it up here and you'll be able to watch it as the oil pressure drops. Get about 71 PSI at cold idle. And I'm going to go do some other stuff here and you'll be able to watch that drop as the oil temp goes up. All right, so here we are at about 132 degrees. Got about six PSI of oil pressure. Idling at about, let's see if that's 750, we're about 800 to 825 is the idle. So if I raise it, let's go right about here. That's about 2000 RPM. I'm just under 30. PSI. There's got 30 PSI just under 2200. So if you bring it up to about 3500, I'm at about 49, 50, almost 50 PSI of oil pressure, which is all right. I would like to see it up a little bit higher. Bring it back down 1500, 1000, about 750 to 800 right there about 150 PSI of oil temp. Of course the oil pressure is very dependent on the RPMs. This is bouncing between 2 and 3. If you hold it steady at about 3, get about 37 PSI of oil pressure. Steady at 2. About there, and about 18 psi. Steady at 15, right about there, a little bit down. 16 at about 1500, and then of course go back to idle. And that's that's idling a little bit high. There we go, down towards the 850 mark. 3 psi now, 166 degrees of oil temp. So let's I try to figure out why it's doing that. Um, I have no idea. It's kind of driving me nuts. I really hope that the gauge is wrong and that I have it on like the check valve side of the oil filter or something like that. You never know. So uh, 
I'm going to go through and do another whole video on explaining what my problem was once I figured out and how to fix it. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. This is Austin with Dream and Rotary. Keep on rotating, fellas.